What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So right now I am currently headed over to Home Goods to see if they have any Halloween throw blankets. I'm hoping they do. I'm also going to check out TJ Maxx and I'm also going to check at Bath and Body Works to see if they've had any candles come out yet. They are online now so I'm hoping they might have them but if not I'm going to ask what day they plan on putting the Halloween candles out and yeah I'll see you guys over at the Home Goods. All right, you guys, so starting off, they had a rack of Halloween pillows. These were the super soft plush ones that I absolutely love. Then down here, they had some of the ceramic clay work houses with the little cat, as well as the Ray Dunn mugs. I didn't see any Halloween Ray Dunn, but there was a few of the Halloween plates, which were really cute. Down here, they just had some decorative pillows, pumpkins, and then those really cute felt ghosts. I haven't grabbed one yet, but I do think they are super adorable. And they had one of those pumpkin canisters, which is really adorable as well. Up here, they had a wooden pumpkin, which was really cool. And they had a few more down here as well. I thought they were super cute. I hadn't grabbed one, but I think they'd be super cute for Halloween and fall. Then they had a lot of those Halloween wine canisters that are also super adorable. And they still have that really cute skeleton and a pumpkin radish, which I'm surprised. Then here they had more of those Halloween mansion pillows, which I wish I would have grabbed, but they did sell out the next day. I did go and see if they were there. All right, you guys, I did just get out of Home Goods. They had a lot of new stuff. I'm super excited to show you guys what I grabbed today. And I also stopped by TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx only had about one shelf out and it wasn't too many items. So I didn't really film in there because it wasn't really anything worth videotaping. But Home Goods, I did grab a lot more items than I probably should have just because I was so excited of what they put out. And they put out a lot of those glass haunted mansions that I've been wanting to collect. So I grabbed quite a few of those because they had a few new ones out. And then they added a bunch of other new stuff as well. So I will be showing you guys as soon as I get home. I'm headed home now. And then once I get home, I'll show you guys. So I'll see you guys back at home. To start off, I just want to say I'm super excited that I found a bunch of the glass haunted houses they put out every year. And I'm going to show you guys those first just because I'm super excited about it. And let me tell you guys the brand because you guys might know but it's the blue sky clay works the halloween collection and every year they have a few or one that come out and i like to collect them and i had no idea they had so many this year but i grabbed three total from the home goods i went to today so this one is called the hotel of horrors and it's so cute here let me scoot this one back and as you can see, it's so adorable. It's got a vampire standing in the doorway with the pumpkin with a black cat on top of it. And then I love that it had this really pretty crevice moon at the top of the roof. And then of course, you can put the tea light in the back. But this one, I had to grab, so I did grab it. And then the next one is super adorable as well. It is called the Howlin' Mansion. And this one is also super adorable. As you can see, it's kind of, I don't really know if there's anything in the window necessarily. It's got a ghost at the top window holding the Howland Mansion sign and then it's got like a spooky tree and then a really tall chimney. And then out of the chimney, we have these little um, bats and a moon. Let me see, yeah, and they like, you can like hit them. I don't want to break them, but you can move them around. It's super cute. And I had to grab this as well. And then the last one I saw that I grabbed, I loved. I, this one was not in the same aisle as these two. This one was in the aisle with all the plates and stuff. But this one is called the Witchies You Brew Cider Cauldron. And the wind on the window right here, it says open all night. And I just thought this was so cute. It's got a witch hat for the top. And then it has a really cool tall chimney. And then um, right above here, there's a pumpkin. And then it has like little potion bottles in the top window. 
and it's got this giant dangly thing, the dangly sign. And then right here is just the staircase to go inside. And then in the back is where you put the tea light candle. But yes, all the ones I found today were super cute. I am so obsessed with them. And I think the collection I have so far, I have these three, the ice cream parlor, the witch castle, and then the pumpkin palace. I think they're gonna look amazing together. And then I grabbed this Ray Dunn black mug. It just says morning on it. I did not see any of the Halloween Ray Dunn out yet. They may have put it out, but I know that there's a lot of people who love Ray Dunn and they'll wait by the doors in the morning and just grab any Ray Dunn they see. So that could be also the reason. So I figured I'd just grab one of those black mugs to put by my coffee station and then you guys today i found two throw blankets one was not one is halloween and then one is fall but this one was super cute it's the peanuts collection blanket and it's just got um snoopy in a costume with like the little Tweety Bird, the bird on the broom, super adorable with the witch hat. And then it's got him coming out of a pumpkin as well. So maybe you guys can see it better like this. And then he's in like a little costume right there. But I just thought it was super cute. And it was one of the only Halloween blankets they had out. So I grabbed it because obviously that's what I'm on the hunt for right now. And then I saw this. This was in the aisle when you go to check out. And I saw it and I grabbed it because I love to collect blankets. But this one's not Halloween. This one's a fall one, but it's super cute. It's one of those that where it's like white fur on the inside and then it's super soft on the outside. But it's really cute. It's got like pumpkin spice latte and pumpkin pie and like little leaves on it. And it's super cute. I just love like the little pumpkin lattes on it. I thought it was so adorable. So of course I grabbed that because that I can use throughout the entire fall season. And then you guys, I'm gonna insert some clips of what I saw today because I did film everything. But let me finish showing you guys. What so those pillows, the pillows that I told you guys were super soft and the one that I got that said happy Halloween and stuff. Today, they added a whole bin of full of them and they were different designs. So I grabbed two of them. And this one, oh my gosh, you guys, it's freaking bats. I freaking love it. So look it, this is so adorable. Oh my gosh, I just love the bats on it. And then when you flip it over, it's got a ghost and a pumpkin in a truck with bats on top. The cutest thing ever. So I, of course I grabbed that and it's super soft and it's got bats on it. So I can't turn that down. And then the last pillow I got was this black one and it just has these super cute little ghosts on it. Like this is so cute. I feel like all the pillows this year that they're putting out are so adorable. Like you can never have too many pillows. I figured I could put some on my couch and some on my bed. So that's pretty much most of what I got. I got one more item, which they just put it out on the shelves. I'm super excited about, so I'm gonna grab it. It's a little bit heavy. Let me see if I can get it from over here. Woo! And this is, look at this, this is so cool. It's got like a little ghost Grim Reaper holding a stack of pumpkins with a little like black clown hat on top. All right, you guys, that is about it from what I saw at Home Goods. I did stop at TJ Maxx. Here, let me go. I'm gonna step backwards over here because I did, I did grab one thing at TJ Maxx, but it was the last item. I went there the day before and they had these and I took a picture and sent it to my family and everyone in my family was like, oh my gosh, I want one. So I went back and they only had one left, so I grabbed one and it's just this it's just this cute little kitty cat sitting inside of a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. And I knew I had to grab it just because either I was gonna keep it or someone in my family could have it. And I think everyone in my family has at least one pet cat, so I knew everyone would love it. So I grabbed it and TJ Maxx really didn't have much except for that cat and the pumpkin. And so that was about it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween update at Home Goods. My TJ Maxx did not have anything. By the way, update, I did call my Bath and Body Works and they said they will be putting out all the Halloween stuff on Monday. So you know I will be there bright and early Monday morning to make sure I at least get something of the Halloween collection. I do want to grab, I think, one of the Halloween candle holders. So hopefully I can grab one of them. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this update. And I hope you guys find what you guys are looking for. And I'll see you guys in the next Halloween vlog.